He is known for being an American novelist and travel writer who has written numerous books, including the travelogue The Great Railway Bazaar. Recognized for his fiction works being adapted into feature films, he was awarded the 1981 James Tate Black Memorial Prize for his novel The Mosquito Coast. His name is Paul Edward Thoreau. In the world of literature and exploration, one name stands out, Paul Edward Thoreau. This American novelist and travel writer has taken readers on captivating journeys through his numerous books, including the renowned travelogue, The Great Railway Bazaar. Thoreau's ability to transport readers to distant lands and immerse them in the vibrant cultures he encounters is truly remarkable. But Thoreau's literary prowess is not limited to non-fiction. Some of his works of fiction have been adapted into feature films, showcasing his versatility as a writer. In fact, his novel, The Mosquito Coast, was not only awarded the prestigious 1981 James Tate Black Memorial Prize, but it was also adapted into a movie in 1986, and more recently, into a television series in 2021. Beyond his own accomplishments, Thoreau comes from a family of talented individuals. He is the father of Marcel and Louis Thoreau, who have made their own mark in the literary and documentary world. Additionally, Thoreau's brothers, Alexander and Peter Thoreau, are also accomplished authors. The Thoreau family's creative genes even extend to their nephew, the well-known American actor and screenwriter, Justin Thoreau. Paul Thoreau's contributions to literature and travel writing have left an indelible mark on the literary landscape. His ability to transport readers to far-flung places and his exploration of complex human experiences have made him a beloved and influential figure. Through his words, Thoreau has ignited a sense of wanderlust and curiosity in readers around the world, reminding us of the transformative power of storytelling. In the early 1960s, a young and restless Paul Thoreau joined the Peace Corps, seeking an escape from the confines of Massachusetts and the hostile foreign policy of the United States. He was sent to Malawi as a teacher, but his rebellious nature and sympathies for political opponents led to his expulsion from the country in 1965. Thoreau's experiences in Malawi would later inspire his novel, Jungle Lovers, which was banned in the country for many years. Undeterred, Thoreau moved to Uganda, where he taught English at Makerere University and wrote for the magazine Transition. It was during this time that he formed friendships with Rajat Niyaji, the founder of Transition magazine, and renowned novelist V. S. Naipaul. However, a terrifying incident during a demonstration, where an angry mob threatened his pregnant wife, prompted Thoreau to leave Africa behind. In 1968, Thoreau and his family relocated to Singapore, where he continued teaching and writing. However, his outspoken nature and critical views of the government led to the banning of his novel, St. Jack, for 30 years. Similarly, his books were banned by the apartheid government in South Africa until the country's transition to democracy in 1995. After years abroad, Thoreau returned to Africa in 2001, retracing his footsteps and reconnecting with the continent. Despite enduring hardships during his journey, he emerged with a positive impression of Africa and its people, while developing a more skeptical view of foreign tourists and activists. He chronicled his experiences in the book, Dark Star Safari. Throughout his life, Thoreau has been known for his candid opinions and willingness to challenge popular beliefs. He has criticized celebrity activists like Bono and Brad Pitt, seeing them as mythomaniacs who project an unrealistic image of Africa. In recent years, he has embraced a more optimistic outlook, describing himself as having the disposition of a hobbit and acknowledging the importance of happiness in his writing. In a thought-provoking op-ed for the New York Times, Thoreau drew parallels between his own involvement in a plot to assassinate the president of Malawi during his Peace Corps days and the case of John Walker Lind, an American citizen convicted of fighting with the Taliban. His experiences have given him a nuanced understanding of complex situations and a unique perspective on the world. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.